Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this weather community. Now, uh, all eyes on this. I'm going to keep an eye on some other areas of some disturbed weather, but this is the spot we're watching for the chance of a system forming throughout the week. Some systems are easy to forecast. You know they're going to develop. You get a good handle on where they're going to go. This one's going to take a little bit of time, but I hope it takes time to develop. I don't want it to develop at all, but if it is going to, I hope it does take its sweet old time. I uh, don't root for any sort of a development but down the road this may develop. Now a map like this to me is a little bit scarier than than what it really is. So at, at this point uh, this is from the National Hurricane Center. It looks like there's some sort of cone pointing at uh, Puerto Rico back through Cuba near Jamaica, Bahamas, Florida, Haiti, Dominican Republic. That's, that's not the case. There's, there's no cone. There's not even a named system. It's that spot I was just showing you. What this is saying is it's just a shaded area saying, hey, we got to just keep an eye on this to see if it does develop. So it's just kind of a, to give an initial alert. So there's no cone pointed at anyone, uh, but we do need to watch out for this because I do expect some signs of development uh, down the road. Now, here's what's going on in the short term. So it's generally this area right in here, the dry air. That's why it's going to take a day or two, maybe three to try to to develop and that's why it's a little bit harder to know where it may go uh, but you see all this dry air near, air near uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica and this is kind of eating away at that which is a good thing so uh, hopefully we don't see any uh, big signs of development the next few days. I don't think that is possible with this dry air but once it gets past that dry air that's when we could start to see some development. But what does it mean for us in parts of the Eastern Caribbean? Well, I want to track that as well. That means some gustier wind uh, and rain moving in, but not a name system at this point. So here we are in the Caribbean. Here's this uh, area we're watching here. It's kind of two little areas here that'll get uh, its act together. High pressure to the north. And with that, that keeps everything moving to the west, northwest. So let's go out in time. This is the European model, and the models keep going all over the place. Sometimes a hurricane, sometimes nothing at all, because nothing is, has even really, uh, it's really even hard to latch on to anything at this point. But this here is by Wednesday. By Wednesday, still not looking like any name system. But as we get toward the northeastern Caribbean, we could start to see some rain moving in. We'll watch out, though, for this area of high pressure to move away and a couple fronts in the U.S. And I bring that up because if high pressure moves away and we have a couple fronts moving in, that could allow whatever tries to develop to swing to the north. But there are some other indications are that, hey, maybe this will just keep working its way toward the west and end up in the Gulf of Mexico. But this here is by Thursday. By Thursday, still not showing a named system. That's what we like. That's good, but bring in some extra rain. Now, once we get into Friday, though, this area will be toward the Bahamas. Thursday into Friday, it may start to de uh, develop. On Friday, it could become a tropical depression at this point, maybe even a tropical storm. We talked about the water temperatures, the deep warm water. Well, that's round, but either way, the Bahamas on Friday, uh, north, central, and southern will be seeing more rain, but there's that air area of high pressure trying to move away. Got a front moving in, so the European model is saying, hey, something may develop potentially into a tropical storm storm Friday into Saturday and you see here's Florida here are the northern Bahamas European model right now has a tropical storm in the northern Bahamas on Saturday. I say right now because tomorrow may be totally different. So if you're watching from the Bahamas, hang on, we're going to keep an eye on this. Uh, a day or two ago, it was showing something in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's changing, and that's how the, the weather kind of works with these computer models. And this solution sends a tropical storm or a hurricane generally up toward the Carolinas or close to the east coast of the United States, and then kind of getting caught in that front and lifting to the north. But the models, as I mentioned, are all over the place. This is just one of many, many solutions solutions. The American model has been a little more consistent and the American model hasn't been showing as much development. There was a, a day or two it was trying to show a hurricane. Now it's kind of backed off of that. So let's go out in time here. This is the American model, which did do a good job with a uh, barrel. It's showing some increased rain here. This is Wednesday. You can see some of the moisture here, some of the rain and watch how it flares up Wednesday into Thursday. This is by Thursday afternoon extra rain, but not a named system. So models in good agreement the next two to three days, no development, but there's some of the extra rain that moves in. And then it kind of takes more of a westerly trek over some land for us in Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, uh, even Puerto Rico, and that would prevent some development. And then this here by the upcoming weekend, the weekend, it doesn't have a named system or a, a classified system at this point, but you do see some extra areas of rain, which will be a concern to see if anything does spin up. And then you see here, 
once we work our way deeper into the weekend, Sunday, you see some of the extra rain Bahamas back toward the Gulf. Eastern Pacific side looks to get more active. More on that in a moment. And then you see some of the extra rain here. So long term, it may try to spin something up. Uh, but the American model is saying, hey, at least as of now, maybe not a storm. So it, it's just a flat out, it's a wait and see. This is going to be uh, a little bit of a, a slow developer if it does develop at all because of that really big dry pocket of air right out ahead of it. So the European model is saying right now, hey, this will be a hurricane kind of curve up toward uh, the uh, north eventually. The American model just showed you saying, no, it's it's not going to be anything, but we've seen those flip around. The Canadian model wasn't showing uh, much of anything, now shows the potential of a tropical storm uh, working its way toward the Gulf. Same, same thing with the Icon. The Icon was saying this is not going to be anything, and now today the uh, model output saying it's going to be a hurricane somewhere trying to work its way toward the Gulf. So uh, I let you know what I know and don't know, and this is such a uh, kind of the infancy stages of this uh, little area. There's so much dry air and dust around that it's hard to tell. It's hard for me to tell, and it's hard for the computer models to tell what may develop or what may not, but it has our attention, and that makes good sense because August, September, and October, that's the peak of the season. We're just about into that. That's when 84% of all named systems form those three months, and that's all ahead of us. Now, if this area does get a name, the name on the list is Debbie. We had Alberto, Beryl, Chris briefly formed. Debbie's the next name. Then Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon after that. So again, point being, we're just all monitoring this. Hopefully it brings some of us some welcome rain. Some of us have had too much rain. Hopefully it doesn't bring flooding. So we'll just kind of track it. It's this area here that'll lift toward the Northeastern Caribbean. Uh, no crazy alarm as of now. But watch it. I watch it around the clock. I got you covered. Another strong tropical wave has moved off. Sometimes they look a little bit stronger uh, just because of the angle of the satellite curvature of the uh, Earth. But you can see a tropical wave uh, that is uh, pretty strong that has moved off the coast of Africa that may eventually hang together as it works across the Atlantic. It's that time of year they kind of stick together and move across. Eastern Pacific side, uh, we've got a couple areas bubbling up. It does look like there'll be some development on the Eastern Pacific side. Right now, most of this action should try to screw off toward the uh, west, but I always watch these to see if they try to hook back in. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. Uh, Mexico, Guatemala, uh, I'll be uh, even down toward El Salvador. I'll be watching for those signs of development out here to see what uh, kind of flares up and where it will go. Elsewhere, we've seen some scattered showers. Haiti, the Dominican Republic, we've had a couple. Some showers and storms just to the east of Trinidad and Tobago. Scattered showers uh, in the southeastern Caribbean, northeastern Caribbean. Isolated shower for us, Antigua and Barbuda, Jamaica. We could get a pop-up thunderstorm today. And like a few days ago, they could be uh, strong with our daytime heating, watching some of the rain, Panama and uh, Costa Rica. This here is by tomorrow. Of course, all eyes will be watching out uh, what's going on off toward the east to see what tries to uh, develop. And I'm really curious to see the next two days how that area fights through some of the dry air and what's left of it. But by Wednesday, you can see some of the increased rain. This is some of that moisture pulling in Wednesday into Thursday. Look what happens by Thursday. This again, the American model, uh, but the European model at this point, generally the same out through about Thursday. Then this is where things diverge and the American model takes some rain and kind of marches it to the west where the European model tries to develop a system and slides it up toward the Bahamas. So that's kind of the difference there. It's, it's really hard to tell what kind of comes out of this area that is sitting back to the east of us with that, that dry air in that Saharan dust. A little bit choppy in the Caribbean. Of course, we'll be seeing the seas in the Atlantic waters. Those are going to be building as we go throughout the week ahead. So this is today. Here's meters and here's feet to keep you covered both ways. And watch this as this tropical wave starts to move in. You see those seas that will be building. This is uh, tomorrow. And then we get into Wednesday. Wednesday, things will be building northeastern Caribbean and just to the north as you get toward the Atlantic waters. And then by the end of the week, Regardless of development, the seas are going to be building as we get back toward the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, uh, off the coast of Haiti, north side, off the coast of the Dominican Republic, off, uh, north side. Same thing as we get toward uh, Puerto Rico. So short term, we're looking at some scattered showers and storms, but if we get one, it could be strong, and that could give us a quick 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, uh, spotty shower or storm. Now, uh, as we get back toward the northeastern uh, Caribbean, we're going to see some 
some increased rain, as I mentioned, on Wednesday. Not seeing a name system moving in, but we could get some gustier winds if a tropical wave moves in. That gives us gustier winds uh, and gives us a higher chance of rain. So eventually, St. Martin, St. Bart's, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, we could get 50 millimeters or a couple inches of rain. Southeastern Caribbean, not as much until you get down toward Trinidad and Tobago. Elsewhere, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, it will be spotty. Guyana, still some rain at times. Suriname, though, has been trending drier as most of this uh, moisture, uh, the convergence zone, lifts up to the north this time of year. But still some heftier amounts, parts of Panama, Costa Rica, eastern Nicaragua, eastern Honduras, and even a few scattered showers and storms in Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, watching that. Uh, but as we get to the north, Mexico, uh, not as much, not as much uh, as you get toward uh, the uh, Yucatan in Mexico proper, still around Mexico City, uh, it'll be a bit active. Now, we saw a little spin here, kind of spin back toward New England yesterday. I was uh, talking about that. That's kind of worked in. Newfoundland today, uh, a nice day as we work forward, watching a front here. This is our Tuesday afternoon. A few spotty showers will be possible. Nova Scotia over toward uh, New Brunswick. And then as we work our way into Wednesday, you can see here a better chance of some rain uh, coming out of Quebec and New England late in the day, Wednesday, Wednesday night, and Thursday. And of course, watching the tropics. Because if that area does try to develop and lifts to the north of the Bahamas, uh, sometimes that works its way, as we well know, into the Atlantic region of Canada. So Jamaica, we're watching out for some thunderstorms. The potential of that today, about a 50% chance. Cayman Islands, a 30% chance. The next two days, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, some scattered showers. Could get a rumble of thunder, 50 to 60% chance. Some isolated to scattered showers uh, possible in Barbados. St. Lucia, we're looking at a 30% chance and a 30 to 40% chance in Grenada. Rain chance for the next three days. St. Vincent of the Grenadines isolated. 30% chance. Martinique, a 30% chance. Rain chance, though, in Dominica does go up slightly higher on Wednesday because that tropical wave will be moving closer. Guadalupe, a 60% chance. And you see the trend here on Wednesday. Increasing rain. Antigua and Barbuda, that tropical wave starts to move in Wednesday into Thursday. So St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Montserrat, rain chance 50%. We do that again toward Anguilla and St. Bart's, plus some of the uh, gustier winds with this uh, tropical wave. I'll highlight that in tomorrow's video. St. Martin, Seba, and Stasia, rain chance 50% on Wednesday. Another 50% chance uh, toward Puerto Rico. You see that trend going up from tomorrow into Wednesday. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance about 30% in the Bahamas. All eyes on that uh, tropical wave to see what happens with that. Turks and Caicos were mainly dry. Could get a few pop-up showers and storms as we make our way back toward the Dominican Republic. Very isolated in Haiti and very hot. Rain Rain chance bumps up on Wednesday, about a 50% chance in Belize. Aruba, we're generally on the dry side. Uh, Car uh, Curacao over toward Bonaire, mainly dry, 10, 20% chance of a shower. 40 to 50% chance of rain in Guyana. Rain chance only 30% tomorrow in Suriname. And just a 20% chance the next couple days in Cuba. Rain chance 50 to 60%. Costa Rica and Panama, and looking at a 60% chance in uh, Nicaragua, favoring eastern zones. 40 to 50% chance the next two days in Honduras, 50 to 60% chance, Guatemala and El Salvador, Mexico City about a 50% chance as we go over the next two days. We work our way back toward the Yucatan Peninsula. That's where it's going to be drier. 20 to 30% chance northern uh, Colombia and about a 30 to 40% chance northern Venezuela. And we could see a few passing showers uh, in Bermuda just with the tail end of that uh, spin that's trying to work by. So the tropical wave right now fighting some of that dry air. I hope the dry air wins that uh, battle. Uh, but either way, we're going to see this working its way toward the northeastern Caribbean uh, with some additional rain on Wednesday, some gustier winds. And then as it passes by after that, some development will be possible. But because it's uh, just in its very early stages now, track and strength uncertain. But I'll be tracking that for you, of course, nonstop around the clock. Got you covered. Thank you for being with me and have a good and safe rest of your day.